Hi there, it's Uncle Laurie here. Welcome to another shave. Today is Sunday, and we're doing a sample, sh uh, sample Sunday shave today. Today's soap comes from um, England, UK, whatever you want to call it. It's Wickham 1912 Shamrock Tweed, which is a homage to uh, the Creed uh, Green Irish Tweed. It's a lovely scent. I don't have any um, Irish Tweed to compare it against, but if it smells like this, it's lovely. As you can see, I haven't uh, used this uh, sample yet. I've just scraped a few crosses on there to um, size up the sample. This is about a 10 gram sample, so I'll get four shaves out of this. The brush we're using today comes from Foucault, an Australian made handle. I'll put it closer. Lovely, I call it the aqua handle. And it's got a black and white maggot. Maggot's not in there, 26 mil, which is basically a tuxedo knot. And uh, what else we do? Okay, I'll uh, switch to the uh, the other camera now and do the leather. We'll see you shortly. Right, we're here at the um, leathering station. I've got the sample squashed into the, uh, the bowl there. It's a yaki brush bowl. It's called the Duke. As you can see, I've taken out uh, a quarter of that sample, or approximately a quarter. So it should be about two and a half grams. I'll have my brush soap there, which is dripping into the bowl about my manner. I'll shake it out three or four times and we'll um, start leather. Just normal spoils. Oh, it's a lovely scene coming off that soap. Easier to do anti clockwise swirls and clockwise, but it won't matter. Just my old hands. As you can see, it's turning into a paste. Very pasty now. It's at this stage. You can start adding a bit of water. I'm using a spray bottle, but you can use, you can just dip your tips of a brush in water, or you can add water for spoon, whatever way you like. I'm finding a spray bottle works really, really well, keeping the amount of water down In each application of water. So you're doing it slowly. As you can see, it's already got a, I don't know where you can see, but it's got a, a sheen to it already. Now it's just a matter of building it up. All the soap has been incorporated into the, the brush and the leather, building up. The Wick of 1912 is a very easy soap to leather. At least that's what I find. It's a lovely leather there. You can, at any stage here, you can use a leather. It's got a sheen to it already. I like it a bit wetter. That was a bigger amount of water this time. Now I'm trying to build up volume. Let me 
you still want to add water relatively slowly. You add it too quick, what happens is the bubbles get too big and you start to lose structure. You can see it's got a nice sheen on there now. Yeah, it's, it's pretty close to how I like it. I like it just about droopy. You can see it's getting there. Maybe just one more application will be enough for me. Yeah, that's looking really good. There we go. That's how I like it. Alright, we'll swap back to the other camera and we'll do the shade. Alright, back from the lathering station. I've already put the, uh, the pre shave on. I've used my Verde activated charcoal glycerin soap as my pre shave again today. So I'll just re moistened it. Before I put the lather on. Actually my hands are a bit slippery so I'll put a bit of alum on. This is my alum stick which is that's a crystal deodorant stick. Now you don't want to use your crystal deodorant stick for <laughs> your underarms at the same time. Oh, it's a lovely scent. Beautiful. I really like this one. Actually, I like a lot of the uh, Wickham uh, scents. Probably about 80% of them, I would think. I would call it a light to medium strength, which you find with a lot of European soaps. That's mainly because of their restrictions. They only allowed some in a certain percentage of fragrance in their soaps. So it's hard to actually find strong European scented soaps, or strong scented European soaps. Mm. Taste is not so fresh on. <laughs> right, the razor we're using today is the DS Cosmetics T7 head. It's a stainless steel with a scalloped top plate and it's a clone of the Razor Rock Mamba 70. Now I bought this instead of a Mamba because I like the scalloped head. The price is uh, about 50 bucks. You can probably get a Mamba head for about $50 to $70 I would think. I don't know. I haven't tried. But I will get one one day just, just so I can compare with the clones. Anyway, we'll go with that and we've got the blade we've got in there is a Wismut. A Wismut Iridium. Made in Russia. Oops, sorry, upside down. Made in Russia by uh, PNG, one of their Russian factories. Now this is a mild razor, but it has pretty good efficiency. And you don't feel much blade at all. It 
it's rated at um, uh, neutral exposure. Oh, well you can hear the blade cutting the hair there. Put the hat up a bit. I also have uh, the Zamac version of this head with a smooth cap. So I'll try and do a comparison shave between the two. Without a direct comparison, it feels much the same type of shave as a smooth head. Oh, that's lovely. Beautiful slickness from that soap. Very nice. I love the Wickham um, base. I'll just leave the ingredients here, the base, so you can have a look. I'll also leave the sink profile here as well. Just put some more water on. Oh, that feels nice and slick. Beautiful soap. Lovely scent, um, light to medium strength. So, no overpowering scent. As you can see, the soap is on where you can, still shiny there. You may be wondering why I put it on so thin. Well, because that's all I need. Also, after is a, a slick layer against the skin. Across the grain. I'm just looking outside, it's going a bit dull. Typical weather this time of year. You know, you get some sunny days and then you'll get some dull. Days. Even a storm or two. This blade is really smooth. I love the Wizomet blade. It's probably my favourite blade now. Probably ahead of the Nasset, just ahead of the Nasset. That's a lovely shave. So far, so good. Just as a mark. Beautiful. 
lovely slickness on there. Still, plenty of residual. You can't go wrong with the Wickham soaps. I don't know whether you can call it a top tier soap, but it's definitely a tier two soap in my book. Really enjoying the scent of this soap. So that ferny scent that you get, greenish. With some floral and I smell a bit of citrus as well. Lovely. This traditional looking handle that I've got on the razor also come from uh, DS Cosmetics. Feels the perfect weighted mesh for me to this razor. I did have, or well, I do have, an old stainless steel handle as well, but I found it too heavy and didn't feel right in the hand. It, um, Felt like it was handled heavy, which it was. I've still got the handle, I'll probably see if I can use it on another head. Getting pretty close with this shave. Very nice. Make it PBS even. I hold my mouth on. <laughs> Not finished yet. There's plenty of residual there. It's a really good soap. If you're in England, in England and haven't tried it yet, I would say give it a try. I got mine from uh, Connaught's in the UK. They do um, a pretty good postal, air postal parcel deal to Australia. That was dangerous, that one. Uh, just checking I got any. No, that's all right. Had the razor at the wrong angle there, and 
I really felt the blade. Seating. I think it's okay. My sharp leader. Oh, that's smooth. When you got it at the right angle, you don't feel the blade at all. That is really smooth, that's really nice. I'll just do a few touch-ups and we'll be finished. Maybe on the cheeks. As close as I'm going to get. Beautiful. I think I'll call it a shave before I start causing some damage. Alright. I won't do any more over the lip area. That's really nice. Well, that was a very pleasant shave. I don't see any damage. So I'll rinse, rinse off. Put the alum over. See how we went. Few tingles, so we got pretty close. Yep, a little bit tingly. So that was a very close shave. shower now well actually before I do that I'll put this on my leftovers on my face and I'll go and have my shower then I'll come back and we'll do a uh, the post shave and a summary of all the gear I used see you shortly back from my shower it's a bit of soreness here but that's from um, not from the shave that's from my mask, my CPAP mask, and it's a bit over the side too, so we won't count that as part of the shave. I don't see any redness or soreness uh, due to the shave. Looks pretty good. And smooth silk on the cheeks, along the jawline, just a little bit here, so definitely 
a damn fine shave, but uh, not BBS. Very close shave. All right, we'll go over my post shave now. Just shaking up my witch hazel, which is the Thayer's witch hazel with lavender and mint, which I've also put in. Oh no. Put in some um, menthol crystals. Just give the light cooling effect from the crystals. I didn't put a lot in. Lovely. And then we go with the um, Bucky Tiger. Finishing cream. Some more menthol. With a bit of eucalyptus this time. Rub that in there. That little rashy, actually, it's a bit rashy on here too. I'll rub it in there too. Alright, I'll let that soak in for a while before I put the splash on. We'll go with the brush. We use the Wickham's 1912. So with the shamrock tweed, which is a creed, not a creedence, <laughs> creedence, creed, green Irish tweed. I got it at the end. Homage. It's a lovely scent. Medium, or well actually light to medium. Wouldn't call it a medium scent. And what else do we use? Uh, we started with the Verde Activated Charcoal. This one's soap. The brush we used was the Fuko Aqua, I call it, with the 26mm black and white maggot knot or tuxedo knot. Lovely brush. Uh, the bowl we used was the Aki brush. Lathering bowl, jute bowl, it's a, it's a porcelain bowl. Use the warm water out of the spray bottle to add to the leather. And then the razor we used was a DS Cosmetics T7 head with a scalloped cap with a Wismet Iridium blade from Russia, St. Petersburg, I believe. Uh, made by Procter & Gamble, or Gillette, if you want to call them. And that's it. Uh, yeah, I think that's all. So we'll put on the splash. The splash we're using today is a vetiver. I don't have any Creed Green Irish Tweed type scent, so this will do. It's a lovely sort of greenish scent. Oh, that's nice. Lovely green scent coming off that. You can pick these up in the Malaysia. From um, uh, where did I get it? Chemist Warehouse. I got it from the Chemist Warehouse. All right, that's my shave for today. Thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you on my next shave. Cheers.